Hello, my name is Xavier Keys, and I will be presenting a dating profile for fission yeast. So Schizosaccharomyces pombe, or S. pombe for short, or we could call it fission yeast, is a microorganism fungi very similar to the fermentation yeast. It gets its name from the Swahili originated word, meaning alcoholic beverage. Its lineage down here can be seen very similar to some of the other fungi we've seen, but after it gets past a certain point, it goes into a subcategory all its own, similar to its own name. So the prefix schizosacro is gonna be a common place for all these. As we can see from its phylogenic tree, it is somewhat related to the fermentation yeast, but very distantly so. You can see right here, this rod-shaped appearance. So it likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. And what I mean by that is it enjoys a moist environment, plentiful in glucose to fulfill its nutritional requirements. It's generally found in subtropical region and replicates best in moderate climates. And from talking to itself, what I meant was it was part of a study where it discussed how protein receptors could communicate between haploid cells. I'll get into more of that later. So here's a picture of the places it likes to hang out and the stuff it likes to be with. So it dislikes, can't handle the heat, can't handle the cold. It doesn't like extreme environments of any sort. Doesn't want somebody's basic outside of a very small pH range. It can't survive. Being alone, generally in natural environments, as Pombe can be seen with numerous other similar nutritional required microorganisms, as well as replicating within itself. So why should you be interested? I couldn't resist making the fungi joke. So it is part of the Ascomycota division. So it is similar to some of the other fungus we've studied. Scientists love them. They love to party. They're not too clingy. They stick around if you're not sweet. They have a beach body and you can take its breath away. So scientists love them. What I mean by that is there's been so many research articles that I found relating to them. They're abundant and don't require extreme environments, so they're easy to work with with scientists. They're one of the first organisms to have its genome fully sequenced, 14 million pairs to its three chromosomes. And it's one of the first choices in a protein experiment where it discussed how they can communicate with each other via protein receptors. They love to party, and by that I mean it is a fermentation yeast, so in the absence of oxygen, it'll start making alcohol from glucose. It's friendly, so it's typically found with other similarly nutritional required microorganisms, or it can just replicate and hang out with itself. We can see here a little bit of the fermented tea that it makes and a picture. So it's not too clingy. By that I mean it has a lifespan of only about 10 days, so there's no messy breakups involved. The quick replication allows for an abundance of the actual microorganism itself. So it's one of the most basic when it comes to division, so much so that scientists use it as an example. So in the way that we've mostly been taught, the genetic material will push itself towards the middle of the cell, and as the cell begins to divide, it pulls it apart, resulting in about half the genetic material going to each of the daughter cells. From there, it'll go through chromosomal duplication and start the process all over again. And here's a picture of what something like that would look like. It'll stick around if you're not too sweet. By that I mean it can do this pretty fascinating thing similar to bacteria where they enter an endospore phase. So if it's in non-favorable environments, it'll fuse with another haploid cell to create a diploid zygote and then start generating these haploid spores. And then once they find favorable environments again, they can start reproducing and replicating under normal conditions. So beach body, what I mean by that is it's gonna be a little bit slimmer than its distant cousin, which is a little bit more famous. It's a, it's a slender type yeast. Some interesting facts about it, it was discovered in a beer from East Africa. Uh, although it's similar to the fermentation yeast, there's about 300 to 600 million years of difference between them. And it's the subject of a ton of medical pursuits. This going from gene sequencing to protein reception to 
cell replication, and alcohol production and taste. So who hangs out with S. Pombe? It can be within itself. It, it'll make some friends all its own by replication, or it'll be with similar microorganisms that have the same nutritional requirements. All in all, S. Pombe is very easy to get to know, a lot of information out there for them. And if you're really feeling comfortable with that kind of thing, and if you're okay with fungus, I'd suggest you look them up. Thank you.